Fight stick. <laughs> if you're like me, you A, probably love fighting games, and B, probably don't have a three or four hundred dollars to spend on a really nice Kanba or Hori fight stick to play your fighting games. Well, even more so if you're like me, you can pick up the NJP308A Chinese made arcade fight stick. This thing retails for around 30 bucks plus shipping on Amazon and eBay. And the reason I'm doing this review is because I couldn't really find very many reviews. I don't do review videos like this ever, but I couldn't really find actual looks at this product. So I decided to bite the bullet, get it, and then do a review of my own. So without further ado, let's get this puppy in the box, shall we? So without further ado, let's open this up. Okay, this is first opening it up. Okay, um, already, it sounds like something didn't want bouncing around in there. Let's just give it a nice old tug out of here. Okay, and here we go. This is the stick. This is the Nyga NJP308A toy stick. So, as you can see, it's pretty well packaged. First impressions right out of the box. It looks wonderful. It looks absolutely wonderful. It looks well polished. The suction cups already have kind of taken a stick to my floor. Okay, that's not. But anyway, um, it looks absolutely great. The, the colors look wonderful. Um, as you can see, um, the stick. The stick feels kind of rough. I've heard a lot of people, as I mentioned earlier, saying that the stick was the biggest, you know, kind of downfall of this product. Um, you know. But from the first impressions, it doesn't feel too bad. Um, the buttons just feel amazing, like true arcade press buttons. Like, you know, you press it, instant actuation, you can feel it. Um, and the size is great too, this is the perfect size. The stick is a perfect height for your palm. Um, so, right out of the box, great. Great first impressions, I'm liking it already. But anyway, let's go give it a try on the computer and um, let's see how we play some, uh, some Skullgirls with it. Now the review! <laughs> From only playing maybe one or two games with the actual fight stick, the most blaring issue to me is the build quality of the joystick. The actual body feels wonderful, it's made of a very sturdy plastic, the buttons have a wonderful actuation, you press them, feel like the actual switch mechanism go, comes back up, wonderful. However, the joystick leaves something to be desired just a little bit. It feels very grindy as you move it. Whenever you move it, you can audibly hear a grind with the actual micro switches inside of the stick. Um, sometimes it'll get hung in a certain direction, like for instance on certain menus whenever I was moving down, it would get stuck and it would just scroll infinitely downward. Um, sometimes I would have to push really hard right to make it actually go right, like for dashes and stuff in Skullgirls. Overall, it just felt like a very hard time to move. That being said though, there's a way that you can modify it to make it way, way better than it actually is. I actually, I'll put a pastebin link in the description where a person gave me like a ton of tips that you can use. That being said, the stick beyond the actual joystick is amazing. I plugged it in and it immediately picked it up as, uh, as an Xbox 360 driver. It immediately worked with Skullgirls. The suction cups on the bottom are a huge thing because you know, you'll be moving around a lot as you notice in the video. For 30 bucks, I couldn't have asked for something better. The stick feels about right for 30 bucks. If you're on a budget, you want to get into fight sticks or playing, you know, your fighting games with a fight stick, go with the Nyga NJP308A. You won't be disappointed. Thank you guys very much for watching. I know I don't do videos like this, really ever. If you'd like to see me do more, I'd leave a comment down below. I'd be happy to. Let me know how this went. And without further ado, have a wonderful day and peace out. <laughs>